another update. Um, I thought I'd have a go at building the bridge just outside Droxford Station. Uh, I've got the book. I've just got a book here. I'll just uh, zoom across it here. Uh, that's the bridge I'm actually building. It's the one on the south end of uh, Droxford Station. And I looked at some of the kits. There's the Metcalf kit and the Super Quick kit. Similar bridges, but they weren't quite wide enough. So I thought, well, I'm going to have a go at building it myself. And this is the start of it. Um, this, believe it or not, is... Uh, well, after firework night, you always find the remains of rockets in your garden. And that's just... The, I'd use that to sort of stiffen it up. And also the... Um, that gives a nice support for the uh, for the the bridge decking. Um, it's <laughs> basically it's actually um, bog biscuit uh, carton um, that I've that, that I've used for it because my dogs eat lots of lots of biscuits and uh, rather than throw the boxes away, I thought ah oh, I'll keep them because they're coming useful. Um, but that's it so far. Uh, that's glued on, as I said, to, for the bridge decking. It also stiffens up the sides as well. I'll put some on, on the, uh, on the bottom as well. Um, so I just got to wait, for, wait for the glue to set now. So uh, I'm just sort of, uh, just sort of doing it as I sort of go along, looking at the picture. Um, I've got this, which was a drawing from when I originally made a model of it years ago. So lucky enough, I still had. A lot of my my original drawings and stuff so i've kind of used that and the picture and uh but that's it so far i'll uh take pictures and do little bits of video on each um on each stage of the construction well, a couple of days later and uh quite a bit of um progress on it uh, i've got the sides done um got, turn it over got that bit i've put sort of extra bracing inside but we've got the underneath of it done uh, that was a bit tricky and what I did was I made it slightly wider uh, than this and then I've just what I've done is I've just sanded it flat um, so that's it so far uh, the brickwork I'm just kind of uh, as you know I've got the picture in the book and I'm kind of uh, sort of looking at this I think I've got some uh, uh, some stone I can use for that bit uh, the brick I've got the engineer's brick, I don't know what to do there. I might just see if I can just paint the bricks in or I'll just have to get some brick paper and make that. But uh, I'll sort of work that as I go along. Next job is putting the brickwork. I'm going to put the brickwork on this bit uh, and probably underneath there on uh, both sides because this bit obviously you've got to, this bit comes out a bit, that bit comes out a bit. So it's going to be a case of, uh, I'm going to get, I'm just going to do this brick bit first. Um, which is sort of there. I'll do that bit first because this is gonna have, this has got engineer brick going across that bit there. I'm gonna do this bit this bit in here first because you've got the bit that comes out which comes over that anyway. So I'm not gonna bother putting the brick there because it's gonna be covered up. So I'm just gonna put the brick to about here um, and then do it from that. So anyway, that's it so far. Uh, not too bad. Um, it's taking shape, but um, yeah. Uh, quite happy, quite happy with it so far. Uh, I thought it was going to turn out absolutely terrible, but uh, so far, uh, so good. So uh, I'll, I'll do another update when I get the when I get the brickwork on here. Well, this is how far I've got now. Um, main bit sort of all the construction's done. Um, obviously, it's going to all cover with brick paper and stone and stuff. That's the underside. And uh, I've started doing the rest of the brick on this side. Uh, I've just done done this wall. That's glued down. Going to do this one next. Um, I've got stonework to put there and underneath here and then of course extra brickwork to go along there I'm just got to build up as I go along uh, bridge decking is um, corrugated cardboard <laughs> from a, a, I bought a new computer about uh, two months ago and uh, I kept the box because I thought oh, cardboard will come in handy and uh, yeah it's basically uh, the brick paper I've had laying around anyway I bought it for other projects so really so far this bridge hasn't cost me anything so, so if it uh, if it works out how, how I hope it will be, uh, then it'll be uh, a winner all round. So uh, hopefully, um, it'll uh, it'll look okay when it's all finished. Um, right, um, bricks done on both sides now. Um, I'm not worried. To, the top bit's going to have an extra piece got to go along there anyway. So that's why there's a gap there. Uh, that'll be covered up. Um, of course, on these bits here, um, these bits. 
you can see the line there but there's um a piece that sticks out on that anyway so that'll be okay um then you know the cutting side will come up sort of sort of there so um that's the progress so far uh, not looking too bad it's 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 getting there it's getting there so uh you know but um as i say so far it's not cost me anything to make because it's all sort of old bits of card uh dog biscuit box um uh box that a computer came in uh and brick paper that i had left over from other uh projects so uh so far not to cost me a penny so i'm doing well uh i've just got to look through my bits and bobs boxes see if i've got any stonework because there's got to be st um, stone stone slabs over that piece um also inside um that piece as well it's, there's stone slabs there as well so i'm gonna look at my bits box i'm pretty certain i've probably got something that'll uh, do the job I've done a bit more work on the bridge. What I've done, I've done the uh, wing walls. Of course, I've started putting um, let's have a look, these stones in here. Um, that's what I've done. I've, I've only done the one side so far, but uh, I've got to stick, stick them on individually. And what I've used is the Metcalf pavement um, pavement slabs because I found the little square ones, which are these ones here, are just the right size, and I think these ones will be uh, pretty much the, the, the right size to put underneath so uh, I've got the first first one first edge done still got the other the other side to do but I need to let that dry first because obviously I've had to glue them in but I've got this side to do but what I'm going to do so all my because I've got that spot on that was a complete fluke roughly roughly got guess the middle put them in and pretty much got them where they had to go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of the big slabs underneath so I can line it up when I get to the other side that way I know the other side will, will come out exactly the same as that so that's the progress uh, at the moment I'll do another video when I get a bit more done right stonework is finished all done each one stuck on individually they're self adhesive but I always find they they don't stick very well so I always, always put uh, glue underneath them even when I did pavements on on my main layout I did the same thing anyway that's the, the layout side of it this other side kind of went a bit for some reason it didn't line up very well but i'm not bothered because it is it's at the back anyway and also um when it was drying when i was putting the main bit together this side here if you can see it's slightly on on a skew which kind of put things out a bit but um there's a row of engineers brick that comes around there anyway um so that'll it'll uh, it'll cover that anyway but uh but yeah, that's the that's the uh, the best side of it. I'll put it next to the uh, picture of the original, um, and you can see how it looks so far. Um, so yeah, I've just got uh, I've got that that to do, but I'm got any uh, in engineer's brick, so I'll have to get some of that. Got these bits to make that bit down there. That's the engineer brick. If you have a look there, if you can see that it goes around underneath, and this is where it will be. When it's all completed, I'll just swing the camera around. That's where it'll be on there. That's where that's where it's going to go. So that's what I've done so far. That's probably all, all I'm going to get done today. Um, so yeah, that's it so far. Um, I'll post another video when I get a little bit more, a uh, bit more done. Right. Well, I've done a bit more. Um, I've done the the engineer's brick down there. Uh, now it's supposed to be sort of zigzag, but the actual size of it. You can imagine trying to cut the sort of bricks out that size to do it. So I've kind of just gone for a compromise and just put a straight bit down. Uh, now, once again, um, I had some brick knocking about. What I'd done was I actually photocopied, I actually scanned and printed out some brick, which was uh, this stuff. And my printer decided it was going to throw a wobbly. And it come out sort of like that. And I thought, me not throwing in anything. I thought, I'll keep it because it'll come in useful. And I was going through my boxes. And I thought, ah, that will do. That will do. Um, so that's what that is. That's just uh, basically <laughs> a printing mess up uh, on that. So I've, I've done that. I've, uh, I'm just making the brick to go underneath, um, uh, underneath there. Because it comes, it comes from there. It comes around there. Uh, so I'm just making them bits at uh, the minute to put on and then after that I don't know I think it's probably going to be I 
think doing the bit along the top piece across the top and then the wall's going to come out at a slight angle there so probably make that bit last i don't know i'll see i'll see what happens when i get this bit done just kind of i'm just kind of looking at it looking at the pictures and then thinking right what shall i do next uh, but that's how far i've got at the minute uh, so uh, as i say i'm just working on the brick on the engineer's brick now that goes underneath uh, that piece Right, this is as far as I got the other day. I put the brickwork there. This is the side uh, away from the uh, the layout, and I'll turn it round. And what I've done today, I've made the walls thicker here, and this is now this side is finished. And this is what I've been doing today. Uh, this side's done. This side is now finished and ready uh, to go. Uh, it's all done. All the all the stonework, of course, underneath. Uh, so yeah, this, this side's done. All I've got to do now is just got to put the capping on the top. A couple of stones on that bit um obviously i've tried to sort of i've not worried too much about how far down the brickwork comes because all this is going to have scenery on it anyway this bit so it's going to be built up a bit so it won't matter too much but yeah uh, that's this side done uh, it's taken me uh so it's 9 42 now i started it about 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 four ish so it's taken me about five hours um to get all this done mind you i've had me tea in between that as well and Doing other uh, bits and bobs as well, uh, so uh, you know it's it's taken a while, but I'm I'm pleased with the uh, with the uh, result so far. So now I've got to crack on and do the other side. Right, another update on the bridge. Uh, I've done the two outer walls that come out from the side. They're they're now done. Uh, they were a pain to do, so I've only done them on the side that you know on the scenic side. Uh, the other side, I've not bothered because you're not going to see it anyway. But I've just done it so so when you look over the top, it's like that. But these two wing walls are an absolute pig, absolute pig to do. So I'm only doing it on the scenic side. Um, but yeah, that's it now. Um, just just got to do the two um, stone capping bits either side, and then the the capping along the top. Um, this bit, this bit will be done when I do the main scenery because obviously it's just like a, a bridle path goes over that. So that will be sort of done when I I do the main scenery because that way I can blend it all in. But yeah, not looking too bad. Um, I'll do another update when I've finished it, um, and then I'll uh, I'll do it. I'll loosely put it in place because I'm not fixing it down yet because obviously I've got to do the rest of the scenery and stuff. But uh, but yeah, that's it so far anyway. So yeah, as I say, I've just got the the these top bits to finish. Um, and then it's done. Well, the bridge is now finished. Um, I've done the two wing walls. These are a pain to do. This one didn't go too bad, but this one was an absolute swine to get right. But anyway, got it done anyway. Um, so yeah, quite pleased with it. Um, I had to sort of compromise with this. On the original, uh, these are like a pyramid shape. And I tried uh, using thin ply, filing it up to shape. And... Uh, I couldn't get it right. It just didn't look right. So I thought, well, I'm going to compromise. Um, these are basically just two bits of card laid together. Then the very fine file and just filed round. Um, and this is just some uh, cap in that I had uh, from an old uh, kit. Uh, all I've done is I've just coloured it with a pencil just to make it so it sort of blends in. And uh, this is where it's going to go. Uh, eventually, when I fixed it all down, it's going to go on this piece here. So that's one, that's one piece of bridge work done. Uh, I've now got the, plat I've got the platforms to do, uh, station building, signal box, waiting shelter, uh, all the you know the scenery. I've got a bridge at the other end that's got to be done on the uh, uh, removable piece. But uh, yeah, quite happy with that now. And well, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you've uh, liked our little uh, sort of step by step um, bridge construction. Um, feel free to subscribe. Uh, leave any comments as well, uh, all, all comments gratefully received. Anyway, thanks for watching.